I got a new big boy truck because I got a big boy gut and I am back with another food review. What is going on folks? I am back with another star studded food review. If you're new to the channel, my name is Stefan Johnson. I am a full-time voice actor, full-time food reviewer, and full-time man-child. And if any of that lights a fire under your ass, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. And join me. I assure you, this is a big person's club. We eat big people food. Sometimes we eat big people, if you know what I mean. So. I heard in the streets that Arby's have new fries out, um, a crinkle cut fry. Now, if you know Arby's, they usually have their uh, curly fries, and they're pretty good. They're honestly the only palatable thing on the menu, um, but they are diverging to try crinkle cut fries, right? And of course, I'm going to try it. I'm a fry guy. Now, if you're a true fan of my page and my um, channel, you'll know that me and Arby's have not had the best relationship in the past. I've reviewed things in the past, and it, and it doesn't really ever work out. I'll put the uh, card to one of them in one of these corners here. But I'm curious because I heard that these fries are pretty decent. So me being the fat guy I am, of course, I want an excuse to try new fries. So my excuse is gonna be you guys. You guys want me to try this. So I have to eat fries. I have to leave my house specifically to get fast food fries. It's my duty as an American leader to you all. And side note, yeah, I got a new truck. Um, the little Nissan Altima I was driving just ended up not being big enough for the things I'm trying to do. I'm in a couple bands and hauling gear was always a hassle and, you know, moving house stuff here and there, picking up goods. So I got a big truck to fit my big fat ass in. You're going to see a little bit of shaky here and there because I had to get a whole new rig for my uh, camera on these little ride along. So... It's not as stable as I would like it to be, but bear with me, because there's gonna be some bumps and jiggles, and I'm not just talking about the bumps and jiggles in my belly. There's the sign for the fries, you guys. I'm gonna get these fries for a dollar? Ooh! This line is ridiculous, um, exceedingly long for anything Arby's should ever have, because Arby's is not that good. So we're gonna go in. Walk with my tits, walk, walk with my tits. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. How do you like these new crinkle fries? Um, good. I yeah. Like them. Okay. All right, I am back. We have acquired the bag, and let's see what we can do here. All right, all right, all right. The new Arby's crinkle cut fries. This is a medium, but you can apparently get a small for ninety nine cents. Now, what you see here, it's your very standard crinkle cut fry no thrills no bells no whistles just straight potatoes and crunch so i'm not going to hold you long let's get stuck into this and see what we got okay we got a very delicate crunch they're at least not fried as hard as um their original curly fries now granted i love their fries i love the curly fries these are something different. Only salt. Not as heavily seasoned or battered like the um, original curly fry either. Crispy exterior. Very soft and pillowy, almost mashed potato-y interior. It's a very simple fry. It's the kind of thing I can see, you know, if you're a purist, a lot of people don't like all the batter and herbs and spices on fries like Arby's and like Rally's fries. If you just want a basic fry, it's solid. Me personally, I would probably choose the curly fry over these. But if someone bought these for me, I would never turn them down. 
these probably won't last long because I don't see there being much acclaim for these. Again, just like I saw online, they're pretty okay. They're pretty okay. They're good. I'll say good. They're pretty good. But I feel like if Arby's tried to pull a KFC, because you know KFC got rid of their original potato wedges to introduce new fries, I feel like if Arby's ever, ever tried to replace their original curly fry with these, all hell would break loose. All hell would break loose on every corner where Arby's stands. Because there's not much Arby's does right, but their fries are fucking fantastic. Keep the curly fries, have these as an addition, an additional option, and I feel like the world will keep on spinning very well for Arby's. Guys, this is turning out to be a very short review. So as a special treat to you guys, right here I'm gonna put in a few clips of my TikTok antics to fill space and reward you for being a loyal YouTube subscriber. Enjoy. Rating your favorite 90 snacks. Minute Maid juice bars were damn near refreshing. Take your favorite juice, freeze it, put it in a little triangle thingy. It was fantastic. These on the other hand, I'm glad they're dead fruit flavored marshmallows they they tasted like berries and booty and i know some of you are freaky like that but i i ain't the one dunkaroos are an absolute classic that just recently came back and i think we're all a little grateful for that tasty cookies dipped in tasty frosting what more do you want out of life now dino eggs oatmeal was a fun concept visually but they didn't really do it for me um it's like the kardashians they focused so hard on the exterior but on the inside they're dead undefeated simply untouched. The smooth yet robust flavor is at the pinnacle, the absolute peak of chocolate milk drinks. Salute. Mwah. Rating your favorite snack cakes, part two. Oatmeal cream pies are one of the few snack cakes that don't necessarily taste like they're mass produced. Um, they actually have a really strong comfort food sense about them and for that I appreciate them. Raisin cream pies, on the other hand, I've never seen anyone under the age of 75 buy these, um, but they're well stocked in most nursing homes, I hear. These, on the other hand, are damn near decadent. They're like a candy bar mixed with a cookie, mixed with a pastry, mixed with a one-night stand, and I am here for it. These don't taste like shit, so stop bringing them up in my videos. Swiss rolls are a step above most, um, texturally, visually, taste-wise, they're, they're just above and beyond. Um, they're like the Oreos of the snack cake world. I approve. Cosmic brownies are not good. They are an insult to all things brown. Therefore, I hate them. But alright you guys, this has been a short one, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me. As always, I have some fun stuff right here, and I have some fun stuff right here for you. And again, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the follow button so you don't miss any of my antics. And as always, I've been me, you've been you, and I will see you soon.